where you want to be when you're 40. Uh -huh. I can tell you right now, I went off course around 37. This is definitely not where I want to be. And I got six months to be somewhere else. <laughs> Kingpins. Good morning, girl. <laughs> it is 1.30. Okay, good morning, my ass. I woke up hella late today. Anyway, welcome back to another weekly vlog. This is actually the first weekly vlog of 2024, so I'm super excited. Stay consistent, bitch. That's the goal for 2024. Stay consistent. But anyways, welcome back. Welcome or welcome back to another weekly vlog. If you are new here, my name is King Kinsey, aka Ray. I call my subscribers Kingpins. If you want to become a Kingpin, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you can turn on your post notifications and you will be made aware of when I drop my videos first. Yes, welcome back. Um, we have some errands to run today. I'm actually... I have a lot of grocery shopping to do. I have to go to like Winco, Walmart, all that. And first I have to go to Le Schwab because I need to um, get my tires checked and rotated and all that good stuff. So she is in your latest bummy attire, you know, athleisure, very much comfy, very much cozy. It's cold as fuck outside. So yeah, I'm always like this. Like I never get dressed unless I really have somewhere to go. And when I say get dressed, I mean like jeans, nigga. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I'm pretty much 95% of the time that this is me. This is, this is what you're going to see. So if you're here for the beauty and the fashion, I don't know what I'm going to do for you, but if you're here for lifestyle, if you're here for fitness, if you're here for wellness, if you're here just, you know, have some good conversations, stay, I won't let you down for sure. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to hit the road. Ugh, I don't want to go outside. Like, I keep looking like, mm -hmm. it's so cold, but we got to get this shit done and it is what it is. I also think I'm going to stop by Costco and surprise Bay real quick because she's at work. Um, she has some things to pick up and she hates that shit. She hates getting off work and having to like grocery shop, hates it. And I understand it, but it's a lot. Like we go to a lot of different places and to get all those groceries, haul them upstairs by yourself. Like it is a lot. Okay. Um, but we're going to try to get as much done as we can because the cupboards are empty. They're bare. Need to re-up like yesterday. We have like nothing to cook besides frozens. Hmm. Y'all, that smells so good. I smell so good right now. Like I can't stop smelling myself. I know that sounds like vain as fuck, but I literally have like, two, I have like run out of all of my perfume. Like, I think we had this discussion. I literally have like two left. And the one I have right on right now, it's by, um, it's by Paul Sebastian. It's called Design and it's an old, like, it's an old ass fragrance. I like, this thing came out in like the eighties or some shit, like, but it's very soft. It here, this is it. It's a very, I got it on Amazon. It was a blind buy years ago. And it's like, when I looked it up, I realized it's an old scent. Um, all my older ladies love this, but I'm not trying to like, <laughs> I'm not trying to sell you on it, but, or I'm not trying to like say it's, a, I'm not trying to say it's an old lady scent, but it's so light and soft and um, floral. You know, I'm a like feminine fruity floral girl. Sometimes I like gender neutral. It just depends. It just can't be too masculine. Mm. I can smell it through the bottle. Like, it's very, like, soft, like, very light flower. I don't know what the notes are when I do. I'll let you know. But this is the scent of the day, girl. It's so good. So good. You just feel clean and fresh. You smell clean and fresh and soft and just light and 
So good. But anyway, let me go. I'm talking. I'm rambling. I need to get the fuck out the door. I just fed the little kitty bitties. So I am good to go. What? Look at my baby. Look at my baby. Wee wee. Wee wee. Yes, turn your head. Hi, Puddin Bob. Dear Mommy's Puddin Bob. Hmm. Yep, give me that nose. Give me that nose. <laughs> I want a boobs. Can I have boobs? So, yeah. She's out the door. Happy MLK Day. Happy Madness Monday. Yeah. But we got this, you know, sweet day off because of the late and great Dr. Martin Luther King. His sacrifice gave us so much and this day. <laughs> So I hope all my corporate girlies are at home, not worrying about work, chilling, doing something fun, and just really enjoying the day and enjoying how far we have come since the civil rights movement, because there's a lot going on to this day. Racism is still very much alive and well, unfortunately, but without him and many others, we would be much further behind than we are now. So Grateful and thankful is where I remain today as I grocery shop in the cold. Anyway, I don't think I guess I showed you that. Yeah, that part. Always be yourself. Bye, guys. See you in the car. <laughs> I don't know why I do this. It's just so funny to me. Bye. Take it off me. it's slipping because it is y'all I'm, so, I'm getting irritated by the minute <laughs> why okay see this is irritating i'm at pete's um i just left lush swab and what started as a slow a decompression you know when it turns winter you're tires um tend to lose a lot of air and then same thing when it goes to summer because it gets hot so temperature changes uh, um cause fluctuations in the air um in your tires which most people know so um but this time around turns out i have a fucking nail in my shit so uh, what was just gonna be a quick little zoop zoop is now a a tire a full-on tire repair um and I was like I'm gonna need to come right back I I need to go get some caffeine and then I'm gonna come right back because I don't even know if I'm gonna get like grocery shopping done now because I might be able to hit one store and if that's the case it's gonna be Winco because he was talking about an hour and a half wait I don't have time for this I don't have time I still have to work out this is why I should have got my ass up early this morning but fuck I went to bed late so that's what happens I need to reset real bad God. anyway I'm at Pete's because when nobody going to Starbucks so I'm at Pete's and um, I'm about to get me some coffee up as obviously and then I'm gonna head back to La Schwab and let him fix my tire I'm so glad I brought a blunt because It's countdown. Five, four, three, two, one until my fucking worries are carried away because of course I have a nail in my tire. Of course I do. And now, I don't know if I showed you guys this. I got it on Temu. I don't know if it's Timu or Temu or I don't fucking know. But 
I got it off there and it looks like super legit and for the most part it is like it just clamps your phone just like I can't show you but because I use my phone but it, your phone just clamps right in there and it holds it so fucking steady like there's no shaking no nothing um, but this is held by like sticky tape down here you can see so oh god where's the emergency well, I hope they're okay um yeah so this is like a little sticky tape and I added a little bit of my own double-sided tape thick sticky tape to keep it down but it's having a hard time adhering and this part right here is flat but this is not so of course I put it here and you would think everything would be Gucci but like but isn't that neat like it clamps and holds your shit in place like it will not fucking move it's so cool but if you can get this to, to stay down like it never it's never fallen but it lifts a little bit and that's frustrating so anyway um yeah let me go get this coffee girl because oh my god now i gotta wait for lord knows how long for them to repair my tire before i can even go anywhere so there's nothing i can do about it i'm not gonna be out here with a fly tire and then some more issues so i just need to deal with it okay see you in a minute a few moments later. Hey guys. <laughs> the saga continues. She's at Wingo. Finally. Where did I leave off with you guys? Uh, Let's show up, girl. So I went back to Le Schwab after I got this cup of perfection. Like, um, yeah, so I went back to Le Schwab and the, uh, the wait went from an hour and a half to um, two hours. So I was just like, yeah, no. <laughs> mm -mm. She doesn't have time for that. So... I will be leaving. So I made an appointment for tomorrow at 11 a.m. because she very much has a nail in her tire. But it's like, it's it's in there. Like, it's not like leaking air um, crazy. Like, it's very, very, very slow because I recently had air put in them um, a couple weeks ago and it took this long just to get that low. So it, it's a slow leak and it's because of a nail. But no um harm done i'm gonna just you know i made the appointment for tomorrow so we'll get it done another day um i need to get my ass in here i just parked about five minutes ago and lit my spliff because i need some like between this and the caffeine i should be ready to go and i'm definitely gonna have to use the bathroom right when i get in that bitch so let me go ahead and I'm just going to take a few more puffs and then I'll be out. Man, does anybody else love people watching? Like, I could sit in my car and people watch all day. This shit is hilarious. Mm. <sighs> anyway, y'all see that Cat Williams interview? I don't know a soul alive that hasn't seen it. <laughs> At least not a black person because... That shit has had the internet in a chokehold for like a week or however long it's been since it dropped. Like that nigga went the fuck off. Like that shit was hilarious. I watched it twice and I felt like I had to take notes because there was some shit he said that I was just like, damn, that ain't true. I don't know what it is. Like he's Cat Williams is funny, but you could definitely tell like, like most of what he's saying you can tell if not by your own knowledge just by how he's telling it he's telling the truth um and then some of it you can tell he's embellishing he rationalizes his faults and he goes on the defense quickly like even when it's not even necessary like when it comes to like admitting his faults admitting his wrongs like he rationalizes it and he gives you the, I mean, we all do this to some extent, but anytime, um, dude, what's his name? 
starts with an S. He's, he's, it's his show. It's on YouTube. But um, anytime he would like bring up an actual like valid point or just be like, come on, cat, like, you know, or something like that cat retreats like he doesn't he's he doesn't strike me as the type to take like full accountability for his shit but for the most part what he was see, saying um very much gave truth and when he when he's talking when, when he's revering himself um you can hear the embellishment and then when it's reasonable to believe what somebody could like he seems to think that people do things out of like spite against him and while that may be the case, it's not always the case. And the way he delivers it makes it seem like these people are out to get him. And the whole blackballing thing, yes. Yeah, I agree with that. I understand that. Um, and I'm getting truth from that. But <clears throat> he's just, sometimes he, he just contradicts himself sometimes. And nobody's perfect, but he definitely needs to you know watch that back a few times like the people in the comments and some of the posts and memes and fucking shit that i've seen on instagram and tiktok had me it's mostly funny because he's funny cat's like my top three comedians of all time for sure <coughs> but um when he when he says things like you know this is the season of truth like it's all about truth, living in your truth. And I agree, like, that's even part of my statement, you know, like, my saying, and you know, that I be telling y'all, like, it's true. It's very much about your truth. But then when it comes to actually being transparent about his, some of his truths, because they have, and he's a celebrity, so because of, this shit is slipping. Come on, it's slipping. What? You know what? girl the fuck has time for this anyway he just he doesn't tell the whole truth when the question is about him or something that he's done you know he's he's very truthful about traumas that have happened to him because it's burnt in his head so when he's wrong and this is true for a lot of people but when he's wrong when somebody else has wronged him he remembers the truth he yells it to the clouds but when when the shoe's on the other foot because let's be honest nobody you me anybody walking this earth gets through this life unscathed and i mean um having been hurt and hurting others everybody has hurt someone everybody has been hurt so if you consider that, you have hurt somebody in some way, some form. I just, I see some discrepancies in his, um, ooh, shit, bitch don't burn yourself. Um, I see some discrepancies in his ability to take accountability, um, of his actions the less than admirable ones you know but it's a defense mechanism we all have we all like to we all like to protect ourselves but sometimes it can get very much um very much cover up so nonetheless hilarious like I was snot nose dying oh even the second time around that shit was fucking hilarious definitely recommend watching and then there was a follow-up interview um I think they were calling it part two but it was a different it was a different host it was a different guy also black but I don't know it looked like a radio or podcast or like whatever situation and um not as like it, it was more intimate it reminded me of being at like a radio station no idea the name of it but i'm sure y'all will find it on youtube and that even that shit recanting like the stuff that he said and the one that blew up and which has like 50 fucking million views now like that's insane i saw like cube um ice cube said something he did say that ricky smiley 
um, he auditioned for the part. The whole he was supposed to play. No, you just auditioned. It wasn't you were supposed to nothing. You just auditioned. You auditioned. And this is where Kat is is right. Like, if it were left up to you and me, you never had you never had a chance. Because Kat's better. Like, period point blank. He's gonna he's gonna play he's gonna act a better pimp. He's he's gonna be a better pimp. <clears throat> he is one. Has been in life. Whatever the fuck. Like he he's a total pimp like it's cat williams like i don't know why ricky smiley thought that was ever going to be an option like like when when he talks about that fuck the fact that he's you know talking shit he's right cat still has to recognize the fact that yes he auditioned he auditioned he auditioned so if the role was always yours and cube didn't further elaborate <clears throat> on like, you see the embellishment when he was talking about, like, he developed that character. Cube was like, yeah, I allow them to ad-lib. He was like, yeah, I allow, like, sometimes, like, magic is made <clears throat> when you let, you know, actors, <clears throat> artists, whatever, you let them get in their creative element, and sometimes magic is made, and we keep it. We keep that cut, you know? So for that reason, yeah, but I wrote this for this. Cube was like, the script was written nigga <laughs> the script was written like stop it <clears throat> and um but you know we allow you to that's what directors do keep going you know they allow you to get your ad libs in and your improv he made that character you know lit and rememberable so cat was always the better option nonetheless obviously ricky auditioned for it and was but hurt he didn't get it and maybe, like Cap was like saying on the set the whole time, he kept saying, I should have been playing da 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 da. So I do, I do see some like bitch assness, you know, kind of like <clears throat> in his feelings about it type shit from Ricky. But they're both right. <clears throat> but then at the same time, dude was like the interviewer. <coughs> no, I did, no idea who this man is. Um, he was like how the fuck am I supposed to know and like he's like I'm not a fucking cause Cat was coming at him like you let that man sit up here and say this and da 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 first of all I am not versed in all things next Friday okay nigga calm down calm your little ass down two never claim to be a journalist the, there's no fact checking I'm interviewing someone and this is what the fuck they're saying you're just taking their word for face value you're not you know, writing it in a history that everything that they're saying is truth. It's just an interview. Relax. Like Kat was in his feelings. But anyway, that shit was very entertaining. I, I will stay in this car and ramble forever. Oh my God, I need to get my car cleaned because, oof. <laughs> Not I need to clean my car. I need to get my car cleaned because who's doing this i ain't doing this i don't give a fuck how low in life i fall like i am not cleaning my car like that shit was cool when you were young but now fuck no who can i pay to do this the inside because i don't know if i need like i don't think i need to be detailed but um it just needs to be cleaned you know because she sits because i don't be going nowhere so she sits for a while which is why she'd be looking crazy on the outside like i look like i got bombed on the outside like somebody just took leaf and dirt bombs and just bombed the fuck out of me like because she sits outside and there's like paw prints from animals just walking all over fucking car i literally live in the enchanted forest y'all like <clears throat> there's so many trees it's crazy anyway i'll I'll check back in with you guys when I get back in the car. Bye.
So we're home. I had to, I wanted to stop at Popeye's. I want to give me a chicken, that little black and chicken sandwich. Because that shit is delicious. But I missed my fucking turn because I was fucking trying to find my phone. And um, yeah, so I wasn't turning back. So your girl ended up at Carl's Jr. So I got the Beyond Famous Star. Um, yeah, so... Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Mmm. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Mmm. Mmm. What are you talking about? I can't believe I'm about to be. I can't believe it and I'm not okay with it I mean I'll be alright but I'm not happy about it 40 I remember when I used to talk about being like could you imagine like who would be when you're 40 <laughs> I can tell you right now I went off course around 37 this is definitely not where I want to be And I got six months to be somewhere else <laughs> by the time I'm 40. Oh my God, that ain't gonna happen. Uh, mm. Why well, I always gotta add some shit? I like my shit spicy. I added jalapenos. Oh my God, it's so good. Mmm. So. I'm gonna finish scarfing this down and then I gotta take all these fucking groceries upstairs. <sighs> and unload them and then um go to the gym. I haven't missed a day yet, and I'm so proud of myself because usually <laughs> I'm like, oh, I ain't felt it today. But I've been dedicated, so we got nine more days to go. So, mm, all right. <laughs> let me scarf this down, and then I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. The next day. between your feet here. Exhale, lower. Hold for a breath. And then come back into your runner's lunge. 
one last time, lift the hips and fold, pyramid. Lower into a runner's lunge. Hey guys. It's the next day. Tuesday. I'm on my couch. <laughs> I needed this oatmeal in my life. It is... Five. It's 5 p.m. I've had a whole day. Didn't pick up the camera once. <laughs> so sorry. There was a nail in my front driver's side tire. So they had to repair that and then rotate my tire. So I got that done this morning. And then came home. Um, I actually made my tea before I left. And then I was at Le Schwab for like an hour. <laughs> um, I'm looking at my TV. That's why I keep looking that way. But um, so I've been on the computer ever since. I didn't even work out. So um, I'm probably going to be doing yoga after this. But this right here, I was just in the mood like real bad. Or some um, oatmeal. I just wanted something warm and smooth and soothing. And, mm. Anyway, what y'all doing? Um, tomorrow, I think I'll I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. I don't know. I I think I have to go to Costco. But other than that, I have some shooting to do in the morning. And um. I'm actually shooting something I'm very excited about, like super excited about, about, I'm excited to talk about it. Let's just say that I haven't talked about it. Um, I've mentioned it very like subtly over the last year and, um, it's going to be a year since, you know, this occurred. So I thought, you know what, let me talk about it because thousands of women can relate and, why not just talk about it? It's a very, it's an uncomfortable subject for some people. For me, it's not that I'm like embarrassed or like TMI or anything like that. Um, it's just, it has its emotional ramifications with me when I give it too much thought and to talk about it, it means to give it thought. So, um, for that reason, I'm just kind of like, <sighs> but I think talking about it would be worth it. And in a sense, therapeutic for me as well. Anyway, you guys, I am exhausted. I'm absolutely exhausted by this challenge. Like I, I gained like 30 pounds, um, last year, last year after the thing that happened last year that I'm going to talk about tomorrow. I wanted to start a series aside from the weekly vlogs, um, which is obviously what I'm recording right now, but I wanted to start a series of living in Sacramento. Um, I don't see too many of those out there. Like there are like, I can't find any Sacramento bloggers and it's not like I'm like looking like hardcore, but when you go on YouTube and type Sacramento vloggers any, in any way, shape or form, like a thousand different ways I've, I've tried and I've only come across a couple and they're so young, but I just don't think it's like wildly popular out here. In fact, I know it's not because when you go around and I don't be going outside like that. I mean, I used to once upon a time, but <laughs> which is old. So, but still when I do, you never, I mean, I know I use my phone and some people do too, but you never see anybody with a camera just vlogging, you know, the difference between, or at least a vlogger does, you know, the difference between someone, when someone's holding their phone and when they're like trying to capture like more than just a moment, you can tell, like, I don't know how to explain it, but you can tell. And I just don't see that. Like people might be capturing stuff for their social medias and, and whatnot, but, um, and YouTube is a social media platform, um, just kind of different, but they, they're not filming for YouTube, I assure you. 
So I really think I can't find anything because, or anyone, any bloggers here, because I really don't think they exist. With the exception of a few. Young ones. <laughs> I'm not an ageist, but I'm a firm believer that people of similar uh, age groups, like within 10 years of each other, um, have just have more in common. You know, once you go over 10 years and sometimes you don't even got to get to the 10th year, but it's just really, you just, you're in different parts in your life. So it makes it hard to relate to somebody, um, in a friend way, you know, more than an acquaintance. And very rarely it happens, but it's just the majority. I just don't like, otherwise I would reach out like, Hey, what's up girl? What's going on? You want to collab or you want to link up and take pictures and whatnot? Um, but mm, excuse me. You just don't be seeing that. Like, mm. I'll check if it's recording. <laughs> um, you just don't see it. Not here. So I feel like let me pave the way for as long as I I'm here. I mean, we don't know how lo much longer we're going to be here. I mean, I've been here since I was eight years old. I moved here from Houston when I was seven. Um, and um, yeah, the summer that I was turning eight, we moved here and I've been here ever since and I've lived nowhere else. Like, I just don't think that staying here is going to be conducive to an intelligent economic decision in terms of my life because it's just, everything here is so expensive and you just really, I mean, you knew I've, I've known that forever, but you just really don't realize it until your financial predicament changes because, um, you know, we make really good money. I used to make really good money. Let me just say that. Um, something that wasn't really a thought before, not as much per se, you know, um, very much is on the forefront now. So um, and now we're in a predicament where we want to actually buy some property. What the fuck was I talking about before all this? Like, how the fuck did I get here? See, I'm not even smoking. Like, is it the oatmeal? What's in this oatmeal? Mmm. <laughs> like, what the fuck is I talking about? What's over here rambling? That's why I get on the phone with y'all. I feel like I'm on the phone. Like, I'm talking to y'all on the phone. Like, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna call y'all right back. Like, hold on. Cause it is my phone <laughs> very much my phone anyway girl it's only tuesday i don't even know what the fuck i was saying what was i saying what was i talking about how did i get here <laughs> that's how 2024 is going for me i could have sworn i was talking about i'm exhausted from yes i haven't worked i like i didn't went all into girl Oh, my brain. So I said all that to say I gained 30 pounds last year after it, a surgery. I had surgery um, back in January of 2022 and or 2023. Hello. And um, I'll talk about it tomorrow and you guys will see that. But um, because of that surgery, and not just because of that, you know, I could have forced myself to whatever, but hormonally things change, just things change. And I was warned that, you know, you're, you might pack on a few pounds, girl, a few pounds, probably 30, but I was 160 and now I'm 190. How'd that work? What'd I do? I mean, I know there's some things I shouldn't have been eating, like cheese didn't crept its way back into my diet, meat, obviously, uh, no red, but, you know, chicken and essentially animal products, like I, I diet wise, and I could have managed that too, but 
the surgery had me on my ass and working out just kind of came became a thing in the past for like three months. And it just put me in a mood where it's like I wanted to do anything but like I very much had to reintroduce myself to working out and um, I decided what's the best way to grow? Fling yourself into some uncomfortable ass shit and watch yourself blossom or fail. What's it going to be? So I bet on myself and said, let's go ahead and do this challenge. And now I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm exhausted before I wake up. When I don't have a conventional job and I don't have kids and I'm still exhausted. Where they do that out. I mean, I'm sure it's relative. You spread your time out evenly and I keep a lot of silent time for my fucking thoughts. So... <laughs> I like my solitude very much. So I'm very much a loner. Um, but anyway, I said all that to say I'm exhausted. I had surgery last year. We're possibly going to be moving. I said this years ago. I don't know years, 2021, 2022, one of them in the old vlogs. I used to like, but we've been like hanging in I'm like we're making it like, but I assure you the moment I feel like, we ain't going to be able to pay these bills no more. We're either going to Vegas, Dallas, or Houston. I don't want to. Like, I would give anything to stay here. But it just really depends. Like, after this election, what happens? And where the real estate market goes. Because Bay and I look every day. Every day. And we keep our eye on it. On... um properties here and we've been open to everything like we guys we've been open to we've been open to single family we've been open to condos townhomes um even modular homes like the mobile home the mobile the modular mobile homes <laughs> oh yeah some of those motherfuckers is nice some of them double triple wides okay that's so funny <laughs> I'm trying my best to stay away from that, but they are very economically sound and they're huge and they're decked. They're very nicely done, whether they're a lot of them are brand new and some of them are remodeled and they're just, you look at it and you see how far your money can go and you're just like, yeah, but it's, I don't really want to do that, but I'm open to it. Tiny homes, motor homes. We've been looking at everything. Everything is a very real possibility if we can actually make it work with my mom. And um, my dad was thinking about moving in with us as well. Um, he lives in Kansas City, Missouri. You saw me visit mm, this past summer. I'm 39. I'll be 40 this year, 2024. I was born in 1984. So I will be, she will be 40 this year. And while I don't feel it, and I damn sure don't look it, <laughs> I'm just saying. Anyway, skincare. Um, <laughs> you know, my parents are relatively older. My mom's, you know, headed towards her 70s. My dad is 71. He will be next month. Um, you know, they're getting up in airs. Um, what they gonna do? So what we're going to do, I don't know where we're going to be. I don't know, but I do know that that decision will be made before the end of the first quarter of 2025. We will find out who the next president is at the end of this year that we just started. You know, I don't see the real estate market continuing to descend in terms of interest rates, property values, and anything you know, that would make it even reasonably affordable for someone to say that they live here, like they're meaning California. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. The median price, home price here, or like somewhere in New York, which justifiably they have a fraction, a fraction of the space that we have here. California is like its own fucking country. It's like Texas. Um, 
what it costs to live here. Shut the fuck up. Like, that is crazy to me. Society just can't thrive. Or the poor people getting pushed out. You know how to I kept my job. I feel like, how did I live my life before this? Because I have to set the mood. Like, this sets the mood for me, like, every day. It's, you know, I have hundreds of different, like, videos that I watch. But it really puts you in a state of mind. It works. It works. It's science. <laughs> anyway, guys. I am going to, I have been talking about nothing for 28 minutes. What the fuck? Um, I made two packets and I feel like it was a lot. Um, I do have my little, little puff puff. No pads. I need a little something to take me there, and then I can just kind of get lost in my yoga. And, and then I'm going to hop my ass in the shower and um, plan out the topics for my little chit chat tomorrow. Um, just so I can stay on course, because, you know, a girl can ramble. I can ramble with the best of them and just end up who knows where anyway also about these potomac housewives okay they these high yellow bitches well they finally got the brown skin they they finally put that dark skin in there because i was like what's the fucking w or not w r h o p rop 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 <laughs> there's no m rop that shit is crazy crazy anyway you guys tell me what you want to see i'm gonna drop some new shit so i really 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 want to hear what you guys think and um you know if if there's any type of content i mean i haven't done anything outside of vlogging but that's definitely going to change here very very soon and i just want to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions and see if i'm you know headed in the right direction and just let me know. I know my problem mostly is consistency, not really what I put out. I think my content's pretty good in terms of quality, but it's more about consistency. But I am going to have a few spinoff series on my channel other than vlogs and just little tidbits. Some of them short, some of them medium in terms of length, but I just really want to know what you guys think when I post it. And I'm ex so excited um, just to get some different content out there. I got 50 minutes of just rambling what are we talking about anyway you guys i will check back in with you guys later tomorrow tomorrow i don't know what we're doing i might um i didn't get to go to costco yesterday so and i did not go today i just said you know what the groceries we got at winco that gonna have to do that gonna have to do because i just wasn't in the mood so I'll probably stop at Costco tomorrow and um, I have to edit and I have to shoot tomorrow. So tomorrow's going to be a busy day. I'm not going to hold my breath on whether or not I'm going to pick up this camera, but I will try my best. I might not even talk to you till Thursday, so we shall see because it's going to be busy and I really need to kick my ass in here because it's five minutes to six. So signing off, you guys have a lovely evening and a good night's sleep. Bye, guys. Bye, King Ben. <laughs> Bye, guys. Ooh, I look crazy. Bye, guys. <laughs>
guys. <laughs> what up? Today is, what's today? Cause you know, I don't know. Today is Wednesday, it's the next day. Oh, I picked up the camera, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> I didn't know if I was gonna talk to you guys today. Um, because I've actually been like going through a lot of, I mean, I've been going through a lot of self-reflection and like planning and just um, this morning though, it kind of hit hard, you know, like some days more than others. While you might give your life and future and whatnot thought, it's like, I'm sweating already. It's like um, some days are just a little heavier than others and today was pretty heavy like my thoughts the intrusive thoughts <laughs> and then trying to push those away and then actually tackle what it is I need to you know compartmentalize in my head in order to do what it is I want to do and be where it is I want to be in you know a certain amount of time it's just today, ooh, that sun, today was, the sun came out today, I'm so happy, like, I'm actually, I actually walked outside and, like, was happy to be outside. We are on the way to Costco, because, <laughs> as y'all know, she didn't make it there yesterday, and Bay was so busy at work. Oh, hell no, I know this shit ain't finna turn, and I'm sitting right here, like, fuck no. <laughs> Looking down at my purse, I know they're like, bitch, go! <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, we're on the way to Costco. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna see Bay while I'm in there. Um, Cause she be, they be working on baby, so she be like all over the place. So I might see her, I might not, but I have quite a few things to get in bulk. So that's what she's doing. What y'all doing? What are you guys doing on this fine Wednesday afternoon? Damn. Of course it has to be like, of course it has to be packed. Of course it does. I'll take y'all off this. We're at Costco, guys. I see it, boo. I see it. I see it. <laughs> Why this guy waved to me like, there's a parking spot, right? I, 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 I see it. I see it. I just don't want to be over here. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> Let me take my ass in here. I may just be talking to you for this little amount of time in the car because when I got home, I got shit to do. I gotta film, I have to edit, um, and I gotta go to the gym and I have very little time between now and when Bay gets off. So. That's so. Y'all, I got this new I don't know how you say it, squalene. I think it's squalene. It's a um facial oil serum thing. It's a facial oil facial oil slash serum. And it's for dark spots and acne scars and you know all the things. And I really like it. I really, really like it. It's, I can see once it sets in, it like gets to work. Like it minimizes pores, scars. Like I've been using it for like a month, but not consistently. I don't always use it. Um, but when I do, I'm like, oh shit. Like I love the way my skin looks. Minus that. But, oh my God, I want to get out the car, but I don't. All right, let's get in here, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.
eternity later. Birthday girl. Man, you have good quality. Right. Guess he's 18, y'all. Say hey, King Pens. Hey, guys. We're at the mall. We're at Arden. We're both looking bummy, but having the best time. So we're headed in here. Oh, by the way, it's Saturday. What's the day today? 20th. She's right. It's Saturday the 20th. We're at Arden Mall. This thing here turned 18 on the 15th, so we're just shopping and doing what girls do. And now we're on, I don't know what she's looking for, but we gonna find it. Jeans. Jeans. And then we're probably gonna get some boba. boba. And then back in the car we go. Y'all, I am just over the moon. Y'all have no idea. Like, <sighs> this little girl, I can't believe she's 18. She is just everything. And to see her blossom and grow into this beautiful young lady. She's about to go to college. She's senior in high school. Graduation's in June. She still has her senior ball. And it's just, I can't keep up with time. I can't keep up with time. And I am just in love with watching her grow. Like, I just, and I have four more that are also growing she's like auntie 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 <laughs> come on let's go try it on Many hours later. It's so dark. Hi guys. <laughs> we are out here. We spent this whole time at Arden. Looking for absolutely Look nothing. Because <laughs> looking for an essential city that is nowhere to be found. But I'm hoping we find it at the Galleria. Oh yeah, baby. Because my baby cakes won't well, tits real bad. Okay, let me get this gas and then I'll be right back. All right, on the road again. Just rate this drink from one to ten. Yeah. I give it. I mean, for what it is, I gave it a ten out of ten. It's just bomb. <laughs> I mean, it's delicious. It was refreshing. It wasn't too sweet. Boba no boba. The what was this? What did I get? The Guava cool. lemon green tea. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, the rain wasn't that bad. Like, it, there was a pouring session when we got out the car first to go to Arden, and we, like, yeah, completely yeah. showered outside. The and then, waves, like, ocean waves. Like, it was bad. <laughs> we looked frantic. But, yeah, it calmed down, and now it's just a light sprinkle. So, that's Gucci. But Arden just wasn't hidden. I mean, we got a few things, but Arden wasn't hidden. So, now we're about to go to the Galleria and just get the same thing. Hopefully it's better. But it I is. I really do like what I got you. I'm gonna be so happy. Oh yeah, show the kingpins what you got. I don't. I just got two of them. Yeah. So baggy sweatpants, gray like cargo. What brand is that? It's this is from Garage. Okay. I don't think it was, yeah. Yeah, she got the baggy like hip hop pants. Yeah. Real cute. I told a girl, let's go to Ross, let's go to Burlington. We can get like a whole wardrobe for $200. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> Baby girl about the brands. And then this San Francisco oversized yeah. sweatshirt. It's like a navy. It's navy. Real cute. This is definitely me with some Def down jeans and Uggs. Definitely. That wasn't it, right? That wasn't it. Oh, you didn't get the bras? 
Wait, bras? Or not bras, but the little Oh, yeah, no, because it was 39 Oh, it was. For one. They were like, buy one, get one free. You're like, that's the price of two anyway. Literally. Who are you scamming? They're not even like slick with it. I know. For those little things. I was expecting to be like 14. Right. The gallery has way more options, so I'm sure we're going to find something. I don't know if we'll find the hoodie, but we'll find more. Honestly, the hoodie, if I just get it online, is my best bet. Yeah. Yeah, and it's way cheaper. Two hundred dollars in that store. Yeah, like the hoodie is not worth more than eighty. It was like fifty with the brand on the website. Yeah, it was like one hundred and eighty, and some were two hundred. Like, huh? Wow. Huh? For what? For cotton? <laughs> but I gotta focus because I'm about to get on the freeway. Bye. Bye. Nico de Gallo. So we are back in the car, y'all. But my girl found some things. He's very much some things. You want to show them? Wait, I did. Oh, my new. Wait, what did you get? You just got the. She found some cute little earrings. And then the t-shirt. And a t-shirt from what was that? Ari? Ari? Um. Or no, that's not where you found that one. Paulus. No. American Eagle. American Eagle. Yeah. So she found some things. And now we are back on the freeway. We will be back on the freeway and then back to Elk Grove and then all the way back here. <laughs> oh my God. I know. Where is my team? I can't see it. There it is. Anyway, so yeah, it's been a fun night. My niece poo is 18. I can't take it. It's too much. Too, too much. Girl, you was hungry. You was ready for that Chipotle. <laughs> she has some leftover Chipotle. She is inhaling that. I am hungry. Anyway. On the road again. Yo. Tell me why we almost died. Oh my god. Like, we are on the freeway on the way back. Like, we just finished talking to y'all and we're on the way, on the 80, on the way back to Elk Grove. Why did we almost just die? So we're driving and like very soon, like right after we get on the freeway and westbound and this big ass diesel, <laughs> two of them are in front of us. I don't know what it is about the diesels in my life, but there was like a construction barrel, you know, those big old like barrel bucket looking things on the side road and the tail end of the diesel, the right end, hit it and kicked it up in the air and literally would have hit us probably at the the front end of my car which would have done I don't know what in terms of making a swerve or whatever and I got over last minute to the left so we didn't hit it like that was terrifying and then we keep driving right after <laughs> we're in the clear thinking we're alive we're home we're safe and this on again like literally it only happens a handful of times like in the last 10 years how long i've owned my car 
uh, electrical short somewhere in the stereo pops and it sounds like a bullet hits the car. And then and, it's like, yeah, and then it's like this constant ring in your, oh my God, like terrifying. Like what is the universe trying to tell us? Can we get home safe? Oh, ladies. I got my whole knees in the butt. Like I can't, I can't, I can't. Like, anyway, we just have to come back and tell you that because we're alive, we're safe, and we're, we're, we're like, we made it. So something's looking out for us. Anyway, okay, bye. <laughs> that was crazy. Bye, let me focus, bye. You guys, look at this cat. This cat, this, sh this stray cat is the ever seen. Hi, Paco. Hi, Taco, Taquito, whatever. Hi. Hi. I don't fall. <laughs> you are just the best. Tia would die. Oh, where am I going to park? Oh my God, is this parking open? That's crazy. That never happens. Because I can't take base spot. She doesn't get off till like 4 a.m. today. So, I'm going to park here. Back in, if I'm being honest. But oh well. Anyway, um, y'all, we have the best time. Just we haven't had time to ourselves in a while. Just bonding, you know, that auntie, auntie niece vibe. Um, yeah, we had a great time. Am I straight? I feel like I'm not straight. Anyway, we had the best time um, just really kicking it, shopping, going from store to store, walking around, eating, just regular, regular shit. But we had a great time doing it. And I can't wait to do it again. Um, this braid. Babe, what did you do? Uh, I braided my hair this morning real quick after I washed it. This braid is so fucked up. <laughs> the weather didn't help because as you can see, it has just been raining like nonstop all day for days. <laughs> and I am so sleepy. I just don't want to get out the car because it's raining and I just got to run upstairs. Um, But I had a great time. Um, I don't know if I'm going to speak to you guys tomorrow, but... Who knows? But just in case, this is where I end this week's vlog. It's been real. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm so delirious. My feet hurt. I just been walking around all day. But anyway, I had a great time. It's just period. Anyway, I'm going to rub my eyes to death. I'm so sleepy. And I still need to post my little fitness. I actually went, they have a Peloton, my brother, they have a Peloton. So I was like, I didn't work out today. I mean, I did like, I walked a thousand miles. It seems like all over the place. So I lightweight did work out, but it was just a lot of walking, a lot of brisk walking and like a short sprint because I left my phone in the car at one point. But I was like, let me not fail because we are on day 20. There's only four days left of the first 24, 2024 fitness, just do anything fitness challenge that I launched uh, January 1st. So I've been posting on my story daily of my daily exercises and I haven't missed a day since the first. So I was like, let me not start now. Let me just make it work. And I remember they had a Peloton. So I was like, let me get on this Peloton now because I ain't got no time. It's already like... 40 minutes to midnight. So I got to get up there and just post that. And then I'm literally going to crash. Like I might have a glass of wine to expedite that process, but I'm so tired, y'all. I'm so tired. My little girl wore me out. Who a bitch is getting old. Yeah. Let me get my ass upstairs. Cause she tired, bro. She tired. Mm-hmm. I'm so tired. Anyway, y'all, it's been real. Thank you for tuning in. I'm going to end the video here. And I will see you guys on the next one. Whenever the hell that is going to be.
I love you guys. Let me leave you with what I say because I'm very much going to continue with it on my weekly vlogs. It's very much a staple. First and foremost, you know what it is. Be uniquely you because that is what makes you one of a kind. Period. Dot the end. Live in your truth. Your truth and nobody else's. Talk your shit. Bury it. Talk your shit. Talk your shit when you need to. And the most important, as I always say, be a kind human being. Be kind. It'll get you far. And it'll spread love. See you next time. Love you always.